most important thing you can do to help your talk go well is to write a good title. Now, most of you have already written your titles and submitted them when you submitted your abstract, but you can still change it in the sense that you can put a different title on your slide, on your first slide, than you submitted with your abstract. Let's take a look and see what writing a good title can do for you. I've picked three examples from the American Journal of Botany back in the years 2000 and 2001. Here's the original title, Algal Switching Among Lichen Symbionts. How can we improve that? Well, we could look at their original results and we could take something directly from the abstract. Lichens repeatedly switched algal partners, which rejects the hypothesis that parallel cladogenesis and co-speciation. Title's a little bit different than I've just read it, but you get the basic idea. This is a lot better because it tells the audience what you're going to be talking about. It tells the audience your conclusions. But we can improve it even more. Fungal and algal lichen partners are not co-evolved. It's very strong, and in fact, maybe too strong, but you've got their attention and they know what you're going to be talking about, and it'll help you now design your presentation. Because once you know what your key message is, you can design your presentation around that. And as you're designing your presentation, you can put in all the caveats that you need, but you need to get the audience's attention first. Let's look at another example. Phylogeny and patterns of floral diversity in the genus Piper, Piper ACE. It doesn't tell us much about what's going to be concluded in this paper. Let's look at some alternative titles. Both umbilate and solitary axillary inflorescences have multiple origins in the Piper ACE. Well, that certainly tells us something that this paper is going to be about and makes the talk a lot more interesting. Now, it is not a full summary of the conclusions. Phylogenetic studies like this one have multiple kinds of conclusions, but we've at least picked out one thing so that we can tell the audience one definite thing we'll be saying in the talk, and this will help them understand our meaning and will help us organize the talk a lot better. Let's look at another possible title. Phylogeny and geography are correlated in the Piper ACE, another and slightly more major conclusion from this same paper. Again, maybe it's slightly overstated, but you can add all the caveats that you want when you're giving the talk. First of all, you've got to get the audience's attention, and you need this kind of clarity to help you design the talk. Because once you know what your major point is, you can organize your slides to bring out that point and help the talk make sense. One last example. Bt corn has a higher lignin content than not Bt corn. Well, how can we improve that one? I don't think we can. These guys got it exactly right, and this is what you're looking for with your title. Good luck. <laughs>